speak on this today. So thank you for joining in on our very auspicious day, the appearance day of Lord Sri Narasimha Dev. It's not an ordinary day. So we are going to read about today we are offering a prayer to him. This is 5.18.8. So the Lord is appearing and when he appears, it's our duty to say a prayer. Now that you, the Lord comes and you uh, shake and uh, come in. I, I didn't expect you. Why did you come? Did you say that? You should have called first, no? That is our nonsense now. No? <coughs> It is how we treat people, but this is not the process. Because when the Lord comes, then it is our duty to offer Archi, Vandana, yeah? With respect to them, you can see. <coughs> so here are the residents of Chambudit, they chant this prayer. Because there the worshipful deity is Lord Narasimha there. So, Meaning of the prayers, word for word, Om. Om, Om. O Lord. O Lord. Namaha. Namaha. My respectful obeisances. My respectful obeisances. Bhagavate. Come to the per Supreme Personality of God. Come to the Supreme Personality of God. Narashimhaya. Narashimhaya. Known as Lord Narashimha. Known as Lord Narashimha. Namaha. Namaha. Obeisances. Tejaha Tejase, the power of all power, the power of all power, Abhi Abhir Bhava, please be fully manifest, Vrajanaka, O you who possess nails like thunderbolt, O you who possess nails like thunderbolt, Vrajya Damstra, O you who possess teeth, O you who possess teeth, like thunderbolt, like karma asayam, karma asayam, demonic desires, demonic desire, to be happy, to be happy, by material activities, by material activities, randaya, 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 kindly vanquish, kindly vanquish, tamaha, tamaha, ignorance, ignorance, and the material world. Grasa, kindly drive away. Kindly drive away. Grasa, kindly drive away. Om, oh my Lord. Swaha, respectful of oblation. Abhayam, fearlessness. Abhayam, fearlessness. Atmani, in my mind. Bhuistaha. May you appear. May you appear. Om. Om. O Lord. O Lord. Shrum. Shrum. The video of Sikh. The video of Sikh. Of mantras. Of mantras. Offering prayers. Offering prayers. To Lord Narasimha. Lord Narasimha. So, book on translation. I offer my respectful obeisances unto Lord Narasimha Dev, the source of all power. O oh my, oh my Lord, who possess nails and teeth just like thunderbolt, kindly vanquish our demonic, demon-like desires uh, for fruitive activity in this material world. Please appear in our hearts and drive away our ignorance so that by your mercy we may become fearless in the struggle for existence in this material world. Kindly repeat, I offer my respectful obeisances unto Lord Narasimha Dev, the source of the source of all power. O oh my Lord, who possesses nails and teeth. Just like thunderbolt, like thunder kindly, 
kindly vanquish our demon-like desires for fruitive activity and this material world. Please appear in our hearts and drive away our ignorance so that by your mercy we may become fearless in the struggle for existence in this material world. Propound by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Sriman Bhagavatam, 422-39, Sanat Kumar speaks the following word to Maharaj Prithu. Yadpada Pankaja Palasya Vilasya Bhaktya Karma Sayam Krittitam Krittayanti Sankha Tatvanna Rikta Madayo Yatayo Piruddha Shrota Ganatam Ranyam Bhajjava Sudevam Devotee is always engaged in the service of the Toad or the Lord's Lotus Feet can very easily become free from heart not the desires for fruiting activity. Because this is the this is very difficult. The non-devotee, the jnanis and yogis cannot stop the waves of sense gratification, although they try to do so. Therefore, you advise to engage in the devotional service of Krishna, the son of Vasudeva. Every living being within this material world has a strong desire to enjoy matter to his fullest satisfaction. For this purpose, the conditioned soul must accept one body after another. And thus is strongly fixed, fruitive desires continue. One cannot stop the repetition of birth and death without being completely desired. Therefore, Hitler Rupa Goswami described pure bhakti, devotional service as follows. Anya vilasi dasunyam jnana karma dhyana vritam anukulyena krishna nu silanam bhakti ruptamam One should render transcendental loving service to the Supreme Lord Krishna favorably and without desire for material profit or gain through fruitive activities or philosophical speculation. That is called pure devotional service. Unless one is completely free of all material desires which are caused by the ten darkness of ignorance, one cannot fully engage in the devotional service of the Lord. Therefore, we should always offer our prayers to Lord Narasimha Dev, who killed Hiranya Krishna, the personification of material desire. Hiranya means gold and Kasipu means a soft cushion of bed. Materialistic persons always desire to make the body comfortable and for this they require huge amounts of gold. Thus Hiranya Kashipu was the perfect representative of materialistic life. He was therefore the cause of great disturbance to the topmost devotee for Lord Maharaj until Lord Narasimha Dev killed him. Any devotee aspiring to be free of material desires should offer his respectful prayers to the Lord. Narishima Dev is the last day in this verse. So, Oma Gyana Devi Randasya, Nanam Gyana Shalakara, Chakshuna Milita Gyana Dasme, Shri Guru Venama, Sri Jaitanya Mano Vishnam, Pitam Gyana Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Gadama, Dadati Swapanam Degam, Vandeham Sri Guru, Sri Rupam Sakajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vidam Tam Sajim Shabhutam Shabhutam Bhajanam Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakan Vidam Cha He Krishna Virma Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Vopisha Vopika Vantara Dhatam Dhanamo Shrute Tata Kachna Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavane Shri Shravanu Sita Devi Pranamame Hare Pri Vanja Galpataru Vyascha Vipa Sindhu Vepacha Titanam Vane Vyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha 
नमरों विष्णु बदायम कृष्ण प्रेस्ताय भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी जी नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष सुन्नवादी पश्चात्या देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवाशरी गौण भक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो थैंक यू अगेन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन अवर प्रोग्राम टूडे devotees are observing the appearance of lord narasim and they and they are fasting till uh, dusk dusk eh? so they are not going to be eating anything waiting for the appearance of the lord so why do we do this why are we taking up this austerity the whole idea is to get the mercy of the lord of course you may be knowing the story that hiranya kashipu was killed by lord krishna there to protect the lakshmana but what does that got to do with us as a question what was hiranya kashipu is not he was killed million to be the lord okay yes what does that got to do with that nothing yeah is that a fact what nothing huh? anything to do with that nothing huh? so why we take all this up hello Why do we take all this trouble? Hmm? Why? No. Because you see in this verse today, the relevance, the word was karma asayam. understand what is this karma and asaya what is that that we think that money will solve all our problems correct and in the process uh, it's a very interesting words you can see here it is spoken by narad uh, muni This is spoken to the uh, to the prosita, you know. They Narada Muni went to see them, and he spoke this very important point. Not to the prosita, sorry. He spoke to he spoke to. king prasin prachina prachina bhai sir hmm? narad muni asking prachina bhai sir my dear king what do you desire to achieve by performing this fruity activity what do you desire what all of us are doing this correct what what is your aim? The chief aim of life is to get rid of all miseries and enjoy happiness. These are the two things. But these two things cannot realize by fruitful activity. These are the two things we are chasing for: to get happiness and to escape from miseries. Yes. 
फिर टोकन मिले जब ये एंड हाउ यू प्रोपोज टू कम आउट ऑफ इट boss call all will you run finish i prabhu you are narashimha dev or goodbye i have to go <laughs> yeah yes yes no what yes. huh? yes. see correct that means you have cut karma asayam is that is what कर्मात्म कर्मा न आत्म न ते द वर्ड ये सो दिस इज व्हाट इज वी स्टक विद दिस यस यस सो दिस टू थिंग्स वी आर ट्राइंग टू चेस आफ्टर हैप्पीनेस एंड ट्राई टू एस्केप फ्रॉम Correct. And in fact, Pralat Maharaj said, the moment you try to seek for happiness, <laughs> misery is coming behind. Huh? You see this? Seven nine. Seven seven four. Seven. Seven seven four. It is. Is what happens? Sand to gain sand. Sukaya dukkha moksha ya sankalpa eva karmina ha sada apnoti ha dukkham aniha ya sukha brita ha. And there's material world, Jai Shri Radha. And there's material world. Every materialist desire to achieve happiness and diminish his distress. Same point. This is the same point. Yes. Hello. Huh? Is it not? Same thing. Pralad is saying. So, but we are trying to do by thinking that money. I have get money, everything will be all right. Yes. So <coughs> he is trying to diminish his happiness, his distress uh, by getting happiness. Therefore, he acts accordingly. Actually, however. One is happy as long as one does not endeavour for happiness. As soon as one begins his activity for happiness, this condition of distress begins. Hello. Huh? The moment you try to chase for happiness, misery is coming. and our our terms of happiness again is defined happiness is defined how huh? what is that you have explained that again because i don't know how much time we have but we will try to cover as much as we can so uh, see this is our terminology of happiness Again, uh, the same word, uh, karmani, aramba, karmani aramba, manana nam. Yes. The same word, karmani. What is that? We think that work, 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 work. Hello. 
They say, work is worship, Prabhu. What? They have given that sloka for that. Work is what? Worship. Yes? They have already said. Sri Prabhuda said, accepting the roles of male and female in human society, I think there is one more word before it. Yeah. There is one more word, no? I will go to that first. I think it's about money. Money is next Oh, money is next Oh, he's asking this question. King Nimi said, O oh great sage, please explain how even a foolish materialist can easily cross over the illusory energy of the Supreme Law, which is always insurmountable for those who are not self-controlled. We are all stuck. He's asking how to come up with it. So here, So here, he is saying the first thing he says. This is what is happening because after your education, what is the next thing? Let's say you became an IIT graduate. So, Mrs. Darling will come next. Oh, yeah, IIT, okay. Dowry will give you this much. Eh? What is that bicycle? <laughs> they have different grades: <laughs> bicycle, motorcycle, car. <laughs> what did you get? Nice. <laughs> no dowry. No dowry. Please. <laughs> At least a three wheeler. Hare <laughs> Krishna. So Prabhu, Prabhuda said, accepting the roles of male and female in human society, the conditions of unite in sexual relationship. Thus they constantly make material endeavors to eliminate their unhappiness and unlimitedly increase their pleasure. But one should see they are inevitably achieve the exactly the opposite results. In other words, their happiness inevitably vanishes and as they grow older the material discomfort increases. Yes or no? Hello? I think practically all your householders, right? Except for one. Maybe two. Yes? You think you made a good choice? Your wives are not here, can you can speak loudly? <laughs> yes? See? Correct? So the happiness in this ashram is very dumbfounded, not happy. And we grow older and older, more and more problems. Is that here? Of course, you cannot debate with me. This is Shastra. You don't agree, I, I, I have no words. This is uh, absolute word. Word of God. So you see how we have been misled. As so, we are thinking that this is perfect arrangement. But no. So, this relationship Family is not going to give us happiness. And then, and then next thing we try, this is where money 
You think, no, 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 if I get money, everything will be all right. Well is perpetual source of distress. You got to work like an ass. Is it not? Maybe you know, or you know, no problem. Huh? It is most difficult to acquire and is virtual death for the soul. Therefore, what satisfaction does one actually gain from his wealth? Huh? Similarly, how can one enjoy any genuine happiness from this, from those things that are gained or maintained by one's hard-earned money, such as home, children, relatives, and domestic animals, since they are all temporary? Money. Correct? That's what we are doing. We are thinking. I am getting to work karma, right? For money, yes. Why? To maintain family, right? You see, all this is surrendered, centered on that word called what? Happiness. But the result is distress. Eh? All right, then some some still thing, you know, I forget it. I will just do what I can and get out of this place and go to the heavenly planet. Swargam. Yes? It's explained. One cannot find permanent happiness even on the heavenly planet. Even you go there, because what? After you finish your term there, you have to come back here again which one can attain in the next life by ritualistic ceremonies and sacrifice. Even in material heaven, the living energy is disturbed by rivalry, which is equal and envy for those superior to him. And since one's residence in heaven is finished with the exhaustion of pious fruitive activity, the deadness of heaven are afflicted by fear. Anticipating the destruction of their heavenly life, thus they resemble kings who are though enviously admired by ordinary citizens are constantly harassed by enemy kings who therefore never attain actual happiness. Even in heaven. So these are the three ways a person gets trying to get happiness. One by what? Uh, sexual relationship. Second one, huh? by monetary gains. And the third one is liberation and going to. All these three are not going to give you ultimate. In fact, they are going to give you this time. Where is this? You understand this? Yeah. This is the exam explain here. What is that word? Balasya Neha Pitoro Nash. Nine nine. Seven? Nine nineteen. Nine nineteen. Seven nine. Seven dot nine nine. Seven dot seven? Seven dot nine dot nine. Seven dot nine. Dot nine. Text nine. Nine nine. Text. Seven dot nine dot nine. Oh, seven nine. Seven nine nine. One nine. Oh, seven nine one nine. See here, and this was. This is the solution. This is the what? Solution. It's not that we have a problem and there's no solution. There's a solution. The solution is this. Balasya neha sharanam pitara unarishma nartasya chakadam utvanti majito nao taptasya tat pritivitya ihanjas seshtas tavat vigo tanuvrittam tvat upekshatanam That's what tavat upekshatanam Very important word. 
See, we are trying. Now, see, this is the prayer. Oh Lord, nourishing us there. Supreme, oh Supreme, because of a bodily conception of life, embodied soul, neglected and not cared for, for by you, cannot do anything for their better. You cannot do anything for their better. They were trying, they were trying what? To get money, get a work, family, they, in fact it is entangling us even more. Yes? Huh? So how to come out? Whatever remedies they accept, although perhaps temporarily beneficial, are certainly impermanent. For example, a father and mother cannot protect the child. A physician and medicine cannot relieve a suffering patient. And a boat on an ocean cannot protect a drowning man. If, if the law is not favoring the condition soul, embodied soul neglected and not cared for by you, so the solution is that we have to go to God, nourishing and That if you go to Him, God, immediately this distress cycle, what? Immediately. You understand? Seven, nine, there. It says here, you see how the solution, the solution is not this money, family, this is not the solution. The solution is this. See here. If we can just divert that attention to the Lord, then this whole problem of misery and happiness, you know, stops. Immediately stops. Not only completely stops. The solution of trying to extricate ourselves from this cycle is by coming in contact with the Supreme Personality of 
This being, however, completely stopped when one is in touch with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In other words, by the constant engagement in devotional service, one is completely liberated from material existence. All learned men know this. Therefore, my dear friend, O sons of the Asuras, immediately begin meditating upon and worshipping the Super Soul within everyone. This is a solution. It is not that we are all stuck and it's finished. No. Solution is immediately begin meditating and worshipping the Super Soul of everyone. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has also appeared 500 years ago to teach us how to do this program. Is what? Uh, chanting of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna. This is the shortcut. If you can just open your mouth and chant. Because devotional service, what is this devotional service? There's nine kinds of devotion, sir. Beginning with what? Hearing and then chant. Not that you sit here and hear. Oh, nice, nice, Prabhu, you spoke well. Huh? Actually, I didn't like something. Huh? No. We hear and we have to accept. And then we have to show that acceptance by what? Repeating. You understand? If I don't repeat, then my hearing is useless. Okay? Huh? If you are not convinced, you should ask question. Prabhu, I don't agree to this, I don't agree to that. So many things. I think my wife is the most beautiful woman. She's giving me all happiness, Prabhu. Hello? Is it fact? Huh? No. He's shaking his head, lucky your wife is not around. <laughs> huh? Yes, you question and then you clarify your doubts. And then you have to what? Practice. What is that? Kirtanam, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu. Not just simply you chant anything, you must chant. Huh? The Lord, the Lord is sitting in the heart. Correct? And Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, then remembrance will come. It goes in sequence. So the moment you chant more and more, then you will remember. Otherwise you walk out of here, you will forget everything. Correct? Yes or no? You forget. Completely bewildered again. So to keep that memory, I have to chant here and chant. That's devotional service. So this has been introduced by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is also another incarnation of the Lord, to help us come out of this what? Entanglement. Seto Darpanam Martin. Clean this contamination of our this is the process and actually if you got nine process of devotional service at the most easiest in fact you can do nine but if you do one the most easiest one uh, it completes the nine process you understand if you just do one and what is that chanting Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram so immediately when you start chanting Hare Krishna, then all these dirty things in the heart, all this entanglement is nullified. You understand? Hmm? Because you will very quickly see the lotus feet of the Lord. What is that verse? 7, 
Yes, see here. Simply by chanting, simply by chanting the holy name of Krishna, one can obtain freedom from material existence. And then simply by chanting this Hare Krishna mantra, one will be able to see the lotus feet of the Lord. See how powerful this matter is. Of course, Prahlad Maharaj saw Narushinga there, he was all, he's always meditating on the Lord in the heart because he's seeing him on the heart, you know. We have, we have to come to that stage. And coming to that stage means chanting Hare Krishna. The moment you chant Hare Krishna, then you will be able to see the Lord in the He says here, yeah, very quickly you will be able to see the lotus feet of the Lord. So when you see the lotus feet of the Lord, This is what happens when you get to capture the lotus feet of the Lord. When one seriously, when one seriously engages in devotional service of the personality of God, fixing the Lord's lotus feet within one's heart as the only goal of life, one can destroy. The innumerable impure desires launched within the heart. As a result of one's previous fruity work within the three modes of material nature. When the heart is thus purified, one can directly perceive both the Supreme Lord and oneself as transcendental entities. And thus one becomes perfect in spiritual understanding through direct experience, just as one can directly experience the sunshine through normal you understand? The moment you capture the Lord in the heart by chanting, then this material entanglement, this so-called vicious cycle of karma asayam is immediately what? Finish. Because the Lord is in the heart and when you connect to Him, and all material things are gone, finish. The solution. That's why the Lord is appearing today and we are glorifying Him. Why we glorify Him? So that we can get extricated from this uh, miserable entanglement. We all agree we are miserable. Correct? So by chanting Krishna's name, the solution. That's the solution. So who will not do that? You know where this was? 4.21 Only an animal will not do that. You know, prayers by Prithu Maharaj. Can you take it out for me? 4.20 are there. 4.20, hmm? He is saying, animal, only those who are animal. They will not do. Naturally, animal can only be controlled by what? Stick, no? It cannot be controlled by it. Only stick, correct? Yes. So people who are like animals, uh, they, they will not, they don't care. They don't want to do. So I don't think we should become animals. Yes. Correct? We should try to wake up. That's why this whole thing, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came for the intelligent people, Su Medasa. Those people who are intelligent, they will take up this process. Huh? 420? 2027? 20, 26. 26. 20, 26. Huh? You see here, it says, Vina Basu, see? 
बिना पशु में हुआ इसी तरह पशु में हुआ माई डेयर हाईली प्योरिफाइड लॉ इफ वन इन द एसोसिएशन ऑफ प्योर गोडेसियर इवन वन द ग्लोरीज ऑफ योर एक्टिविटीज ही डज नॉट ही डज नॉट अनलेस इज नथिंग बट एन अनवर गिव अप द एसोसिएशन ऑफ योर गोडी फॉर नो इंटेलिजेंट पर्सन हु इज सो कैलेस एज टू लीव द एसोसिएशन द परफेक्शन ऑफ चैंटिंग एंड हियरिंग अबाउट योर ग्लोरीज Was accepted even by the goddess of fortune, who desired to hear of your unlimited activities in transcendental worlds. Is this point? Yes. Huh? So therefore, system has been arranged to come very auspicious day, celebration in the association of devotees. Because yesterday we showed the verse, no? Did I show that verse yesterday? Huh? This is another problem, you know. They don't, they don't value the association of the bodies. Hmm? Yes. They think, you know, I'll go direct. I want direct to God. I don't need all these beggars around me. Yeah. Yes. चित्वा तो गोविंदम तरिया नाचरे तो तरिया मीन्स डिवोडी ना सा भागव तो गेयम केवल दंबिक स्मिता ए वन हू परफॉर्म वर्शिप ऑफ लॉर्ड गोविंद बट फेल टू वर्शिप इन डिवोडी शुड बी अंडरस्टूड टू बी नाट अ डिवोडी ऑफ Simply a victim of false pride. See this point. Therefore, because we say Narasimha Dev, we are have Pralad Narasimha. Yes, we are not going direct or Lakshmi Narasimha, uh, or Radha Krishna, or Sita Ram. What? They are all are the energy of the devotees of the. You can go direct. You have to go through them. And if you don't respect the devotee, then you don't get uh, purified. Actually, you get pride. Dambika means what? Pride. And when pride you get, what does this mean? Pride. Pride goes before. Huh? Pride goes before. Nothing. Pride goes before. So, oh. understand? And you are not considered by as Krishna as a devotee. If you don't respect his devotees, then Krishna says you are not my devotee. You see how everything flows. That's why he says, and this verse, I, have, I don't have time. You know, I will probably stop soon. Sorry for holding you back. Just now we had this verse. Ah, this is this is say here. This word is so important. Hmm? Oh, this. It's 
why it says here this verse tasmat gurum prapadyata jagyasu shrayuttamam sapte parecha disnantam brahmane upasham ashrayam this very important verse therefore therefore any person who seriously desires real happiness seek a bona fide spiritual master and take shelter of him by initiation the qualification of a bona fide guru is that he has realized the conclusion of the scriptures by deliberation and is able to convince others of this conclusion such great personalities have taken shelter of the supreme god has living aside all material consideration should be understood to be bona fide spiritual master and we are fortunate we are fortunate we have got who huh? the guru is there narasimha is there what is missing we are missing huh? who is missing because he is with dali we see yes this is the real happiness this is what he says here if anybody want real happiness then he must go and seek a spiritual master who can connect you to krishna and once you get connected to krishna then the lord appear in your heart and all the material thing is finished all the material thing is and that is how narasimha dev was what ha huh? save us from the sharanya ka shipu kind of consciousness yes is it understood is it clear if i give this class in the evening nobody will come back <laughs> 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 is a fact <laughs> yes huh? so i am not speaking in the evening maybe someone who says so right do what you can carry on yes all right we'll stop here any questions any comments questions otherwise प्रवर्ते कुरुते कर्म ऋषभ शरीर बंधम As long as one does not inquire about the spiritual values of life, one is defeated and subject to miseries arising from ignorance. Be it sinful or pious, karma has a result on action. If a person is engaged in any kind of karma, his mind is called karma, atmaka, colored with fruitive activities. 
as long as the mind is impure, consciousness is unclear, as long as one is absorbed in fruitive activity, he has to accept the material world. Right? Ooh. There's so many verses on this. In fact, it is says that if you really want to come out, the first thing you have to do is give up this karma. You know? Evam manaha karma vasam prabhujyate avidya manai upadya mane priti na yavan mahi vasudeva This priti means what? Namuchyate deha yogena tavar Love, priti is love Sometimes it's translated as mercy. Merciful. Mm-hmm. When the living entity, when the living entity is covered by the mode of ignorance, it does not understand the individual living being and the supreme living being. And his mind is subjected by fruity matter. Therefore, till one has love for not Vasudeva, who is none other than myself, certainly not delivered from having to accept the material body again and again. So I have already explained this point. Right? Okay, we we'll stop here. I'm sorry. We took too much time. I did anybody have a question on the wrap huh?